What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Sir MC Hoy. We're back here, week seven, with your Cardinals franchise, trying to get these videos pumped out quick for you. Before we get this one started, there were two trades made last week. Antoine Bethea was sent to the Steelers for a second, and Sam Bradford was sent to the Jaguars. They gave us a first round pick. I don't know for what reason they gave us a first, but they clearly were not happy with Blake Bortles. So Josh Rosen is now the starter despite his struggles. This is a show of trust in the ownership and leadership. And then Trey Boston will be starting at free safety. So even though Bethea was decent, he was aging, and he was a liability with his speed at free safety. Trey Boston is a lot more rangier. So on the first possession here, we'll see Case Keenum and the Broncos. Keenum is thrown for over 1,600 yards, 13 touchdowns, and three picks. And he's going to Jake Butt here, a player looking to step in and be the main tight end here in Denver. They've been looking for one since Julius Thomas left. Early third down, though, as they are in Arizona territory. Keenum, under pressure, finds Demarius Henderson. It's a nice play over the middle. Keenum starting 5-5. Five five. Later in the game, two field goals in for Denver. Rosen, 12-50, five touchdowns, but 12 picks on the year. Those interceptions have been a problem. He is able to move the chains, though, there. Already into the second quarter of action here as Rosen will eat the sack from Vaughn Miller. The ball's loose. Somebody please get it. Vaughn Miller picks up his own fumble. Oh, boy. The sack fumbles continue to be a problem for Josh Rosen. And now Denver in prime position to open this game up a little bit as Keenum goes over the middle for Henderson. He's down inside the five. You see Demarius Thomas hurt away from the play. Second down and goal. Now it's Royce Freeman in the backfield, but it'll be Keenum to throw wide open in the back of the end zone. It is Emmanuel Sanders and the Broncos jump out to a 13-0 lead with the extra point. Arizona finding themselves in very similar territory as they were last week. They've got to get something figured out. As Rosen has all the time to throw, he's going to air this one out deep. He was looking for Kirk, and it was picked by Chris Harris. The veteran jumps right in front of that one. Christian Kirk, you've got to compete for that more. You know you're in man coverage. You can't just sit and wait for the ball to come to you. We'll chalk that one up to a rookie mistake as Keenum will eat the sack. Corey Peters gets in the backfield. Nice to see some pressure. Arizona back with the ball in Denver territories. They try to get something going. David Johnson. He's been quiet thus far, but 37 yards on eight carries. Not bad for David Johnson. We do get a field goal to make it a 10-point game. We are on the board. It's Keenum. Now he's going to roll right. Now fire back across his body. That is a wide open Cortland Sutton. A beautiful catch by the rookie. And they're right back into Arizona territory. Less than four minutes to go in the half. Keenum on the play action. Pressure incoming, evades one. That's Trey Boston, finds Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders breaks away, and Emmanuel Sanders goes in for the touchdown. We saw at the beginning of the game with that graphic, Sanders two touchdowns in the last game. He's got one here now. Arizona with a little more than two minutes. Let's see if they can do something. There's Bryce Butler underneath. He gets out of bounds into Denver territory. Can we do something with that, though? Play action over the middle. There's Butler yet again now to the 25. Rosen putting together a nice little drive right now. Let's see if we can keep it going. A minute 30 to go in the half. Rosen back to pass. Good protection. Fires over the middle. It's intercepted by Brandon Marshall. Again looking for Christian Kirk. So he's thrown to Kirk twice, and both times have been picked now. He had the right idea, but Marshall did a great job undercutting it. We're going into the half down 20 to 3. This looks way too similar to last week. Let's see if we can turn it around, though, this week. Thank you guys for watching up to this point. If you haven't already, go check out my Patreon. Link below in the description. For just $2 a month, you can find yourself drafted into this franchise. And, you know, I'll be shouting you out every single video as an excellent Patreon. Check it out, guys. Let's get back into it. So the first half just did not go as planned. Trey Boston there in his first game starting misses the sack 
and that'll turn into the touchdown for Emmanuel Sanders, but that is just the start of our problem. Turnovers and just bad defense as we set up the screen balls out. Picked up again by the Broncos, and that's not how you want to start a half. First play of the half, Josh Rosen puts it on the ground. No protection on the halfback screen. And now Denver is threatening. Keenum looking end zone. It's going to be picked by Patrick Peterson. And Peterson's just going to run out of gas here. If he had a little bit more, that would be a pick six. That's a huge play for the defense, trading turnovers. That could be a little bit of a momentum shift as we see the Heisman pose struck by Patrick Peterson. A fourth and one. Cardinals are going to go to the fullback and he's stuffed. They needed a first down there and they were unable to get it. Unfortunate play. And now Denver are looking to take advantage of it. He's driven down to the 22 yard line. Keenum back to throw, faces some pressure, but gets the throw off. Emmanuel Sanders down to the one. Keenum already up close to 300 yards in today's game. Second and goal, Henderson diving in. Touchdown Broncos. And this one is officially starting to get out of hand here. 27 to three, Cardinals, they're gonna attack on a field goal. And that one was barely off, but it is good. So it's back to being a 21 point game, but we're near in the fourth quarter. Now we are in the fourth quarter, we need to get something done. Third and one, handoff goes to Freeman, and Freeman, what a hole. Look at the big man, Rumble finally brought down near the 20 yard line. Oh, that was a huge opportunity for us, and we weren't able to get anything out of it. Denver kicks a field goal, it's now 30 to six. Rosen under pressure, hit as he throws. Chris Harris gets another pick. This time he was looking for Jermaine Gresham. Chris Harris now with two picks in the game and oof. That just might seal this one as Freeman gets a lane again, but what is he doing? Just run to the end zone. Oh my God, Marcus Golden saves the touchdown, but Royce Freeman should have had it there. He just, he was, Juking out invisible defenders. Third and goal, handoff back to Freeman. This time, they'll run his way into the end zone. And I mean, this one is all but over. Denver will get another field goal to make it 40 to six. Two weeks in a row now, the Cardinals haven't scored a touchdown. And now they drop three straight. We're having some problems here and we've got to get them sorted out quick. We went from being at the top of the division to more than likely not after this week, and we haven't scored a touchdown in two weeks. Josh Rosen, he doesn't have the protection that you want, but he's gotta get something figured out. He's gotta start clicking, or else this team is in a lot of trouble. We're just gonna breeze real quick through the stats. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little upset after this game. Rosen threw another four picks, so I didn't really take much time looking at these. There was. Nothing really to look at if we're being honest. I mean, just ugly all-around game. Corey Peters had nine tackles. Jesus. We did lose Trey Boston to injury in that game, though. He will have a dislocated knee and be out for six weeks. And, yep. There are now three 3-4 three and four teams in the division, and the Seahawks are all of a sudden the team coming out on top at 3-3. Three and three. So the NFC West is still wide open, but we've got to start winning if we're going to have a chance. And really, no surprise, you know, when you play against us, you're basically guaranteed to have a guy get Defensive Player of the Week. This week, it's Vaughn Miller. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe. Hit that bell button so you know in the next ones. I'll see you next time as we have a big divisional matchup. Two, three, and four teams in the NFC West. See you next time. Back from the dead. Oh, 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 oh